Hello, everyone, and happy Valentine's Day. I just love Training Tuesdays and hope you're pumped for this one. Okay, got some cheesiness out of the way there for us. Uh, for those of you who may not know me, my name is Heidi Reese. Um, if we could make sure all of us are muted that aren't presenting, that would be fantastic. Uh, hopefully, we are all muted. Usually, I set that feature up so we don't have any more disruptions on the line. Um, However, I do want to hear from you guys, participation, um, and any, any uh, questions you might have or comments, feel free to put that into the Zoom chat functionality. And definitely at the end of the presentation, um, we can you know, look at that and do a mini question and answer session. So each of our webinars are recorded and we place them on the Dayton Superior YouTube channel as well as the DaytonSuperior.com. Just search for Training Tuesdays and you'll find two links, one of which is all of our videos and the other is for signing up for the next one. Okay, so this presentation is for training purposes only. So just want to uh, let you understand that if you have any technical questions, technical information can be found on DaytonSuperior.com. Uh, this presentation is to uh, let you know about the Cody Clip product, and you can find all kinds of resources out there. We'll talk about them a little later on DaytonSuperior.com. So now, who is Dayton Superior? I hope all of you on the phone call know, but in case you don't, we're not just precast and tilt up. We are the leading provider of engineered solutions for the concrete construction industry. So what does that mean? We specialize in our proven solutions with whether it be Simon's forming shoring, concrete repair and restoration, bridge deck, rebar splicing, precast and tilt up construction. And we have things such as the accessories I mentioned, as well as chemicals in the forming, all to have a bundled approach approach. We have technical support team and whatnot as well. And now today we're going to talk about the one aspect of it, the accessory side for Cody Clip, the rebar connecting system. Today we have with us Chuck Hoke, who is our national training manager, as well as Aroll Jones, who is the product manager for Cody Clip. Both of them are going to be a wealth of information for you. Uh, I think I even mentioned in one of the emails, what, 85 years together? Wow. So <laughs> guess their age. Put that into the Zoom chat. Let's guess their ages. <laughs> but Chuck has been in the construction industry for over 49 years, where 20 of those consisted of being a dealer for accessories, forming and chemicals, and then follow that up with 30 years here at Dayton Superior. He is, like I said, the national training manager and understands the ins and outs of our business and is a really great subject matter expert for the construction concrete industry. Now, Aroll has over 36 years of experience in manufacturing, business development, sales and marketing experience. He has an information technology degree from the U.S. Naval College and, like I said, is our product manager for the Cody Clip Rebar Connecting, connecting System. So with that mouthful, I'll let um, Chuck start us off, and then A-Roll can continue, and you'll hear from me in the end. Hi. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to today's session. Today, we're going to say, as Katty alluded, we are going to talk about the Code Equip, the rebar connecting system. Uh, first, we're going to do here, we're going to start off with... Bear with us a second. All right. We're going to start off, as Chuck said, with the Cody Clip video. There we go. Why tie when you can clip?
rebar connection system has the clips and grip to provide fast, strong connections every time. Learn more at DaytonSuperior.com or contact your Dayton Superior sales representative today. Why tie? Okay. So technology is a wonderful thing when it works right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so today, uh, in today's marketplace, we're looking at labor shortages. I mean, we've all seen signs every place and everywhere about shortage of workers available. So the iron workers typically uh, have a percentage of change of employment from 24, 2014 to 24, which means that the reinforcing iron and rebar workers are looking at a reduction of basically they're having 23% fewer employees available for them to hire. Uh, trade workers are going to be down roughly 10% across the board. Iron workers overall are going to be roughly 9% over the board. And basically, total in all occupations is going to average 7%. Uh, basically, a shortfall in the number of employees that we can get or they, can, they have that they can need to fill these positions. Uh, we're also seeing a shortage in the structural iron and steel workers. And all of these numbers typically come from the uh, all occupations basically from the U.S. economy. Uh, we're seeing these numbers here uh, fluctuate a little bit as, as the numbers swayed up and down. Uh, we're looking at products that can actually help and increase productivity on the job site. And for that, we look at the code equip. Uh, automatic rebar tying saves labor, obviously. It basically has extremely fast, re reduced work-related injuries. As you saw, saw in the video here where the guy was bent over, a lot of times that leads to lower back and lower leg pain, upper leg pain pain. We can reduce that. You can stand up and walk around and apply your, basically standing in an upright position, tie your rebar. Uh, Reduced production time, so we're going to be able to get the job done faster and move on to the next phase. The material that we're referring to that the Cody clip is made from polycarbonate. Now, polycarbonate, can you think of one or two things that are made of polycarbonate? Well, how about bulletproof glass? So the material is extremely strong. It does create a rigid rebar cage. So when you assemble a cage with this system here, typically it is much stronger than if you tie with, let's say, a uh, gun, a wire tying gun. This system is a lot faster and much stronger, gives you a stronger finished product. And great thing about this, it doesn't promote oxidation. So. With that being said, the clip will never rust. It typically won't cause rust stains to bleed through in your concrete. It is basically can be used, you know, for post tension cable connectors. Uh, can be used for a four grip system, basically, where if you got to connect the uh, uh, parallel bars, you can actually make that happen also with this system. The finished product, you're going to be able to do it faster, better, and safer. With that being said, what work can't you use it? Hmm, let's see, we can use it on black bar. We could use it on epoxy bar. Oh, stainless bar doesn't cause a problem, neither nor does galvanized bar. The big one here is also composite bar. 
Composite power typically does not have a clip system that will actually work unless you're going to use uh, zip ties. And you've all tried to work with zip ties in the past. The code equipped gun will run circles around zip ties for a composite bar. So we're looking at the precast industry. It's going to see a huge number of projects that all of this type of bar is being used in. Any concrete construction, especially now we're seeing in pool construction where people don't want uh, metal bar supports in their concrete around their pool or in their pool uh, wall designs. So you're looking at FRP being the preferred method. Well, now you've got a now you've got a system that you can actually tie your uh, rebar to. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is turn it over to Aroll right now. And a is going to talk about some of the uh, advantages and features of this system. a -Roll. Thank you, Chuck. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, I'm a -Roll Jones, and I've been with uh, Cody Clips since 2005. And what Chuck was talking about earlier about the uh, musculoskeletal disorder in the industry, it is one of the backbreakers for iron workers is musculoskeletal disorders. And they get that from all the motion and bending and tying of steel. And the Cody Clip system just takes away so many problems from the industry that I think sometimes it goes unrecognized all the things that we're solving. When you're building your cages and your catch basins, whether you're doing 80 by 84s, whether you're doing 48 by 96 catch basins, no matter which ones you're building, the Cody clip system is going to be very rigid. And that rigidity is going to allow you not to have to touch these products as they're crane lifted across the yard or fork lifted across the yard or crane to different staging areas. And mainly when they're put in the vats, what we find is our customers that are using wire, after they've spent hours on building these cages, especially the large cages, uh, you know, they could be doing cages 72 by 144, some very large cages that now you have to get into the vet. We find that they have to have a man in the vet, uh, not just using the wheel spacers, but also reforming that cage. If it's made out of wire, when it got either hoist or when it had to get on the forklift, it, it got, it come out of, um, it come, it come out of specs really is what keeps happening. With Cody Clip, it's going to be rigid. Your team is going to touch it once when they build it. The cage, the cage is going to be hoisted in position. It's going to be wheeled uh, against the, uh, the inside, spaced out, and then you're going to pour. This is going to alleviate a lot of man hours, redundancy that happens out in real life when you're touching rebar and, and wire. It's also great for flat top work. Um, you can see it on any of your flat top works, no matter what you're using. If you're doing some 48 by 48 flat top works and 72s, no matter what you're working with in the flat top industry, it's going to be real simple. Now, sometimes it does, we don't do 100%. Sometimes some of the crosses are, are just out of the clip spec, but it's going to be just a few, as you can see in these examples. Uh, and, and that's when you may tie it with a piece of wire, but we're going to do 75 to 80% of your connection. And that's what Cody Clip does. It allows you to get the majority of your work done faster, safer, and better. The guns themselves, we have go from the three to the six, lightweight, and uh, get powerful tools. Simple to use. Anyone can learn this tool in 10 minutes. They attach the clips in milliseconds. It's a very fast and durable tool and very efficient for what it does. It comes with a, warrant, a warranty for any defects of this product. Cody Clip, we utilize four different tools because the clips we use in series, like the KTA four clipper gun, it'll shoot to three over a four rebar, and it also shoots a four to four rebar 
That is, we consider a series of rebar for the number four rebar connection system. So this number four tool will shoot that. It also shoots several metric clips for our uh, countries that use metrics like Europe, uh, South America, Australia on the metric system, even Canada's on the metric system. We have a KTA three clipper tool that'll shoot a three to a three clip. We have a KTA five tool, clipper tool, clipper gun that'll shoot a three to a five, a four to a five, a five over a five. And then we have a KTA six clipper gun that'll shoot the six series of clips, which is a three to a six, a four to a six, five to a six, and a six to a six. If you notice, the guns are color coded as well. The tracks are color coded. And we are very heavy in color coding this system for visibility. When you think about building with wire, you really don't know what you've built because all the wires usually the same color, uh, it's usually black, unless then you've had to use some epoxy wires, some plastic coated wire. But these are our four tools that work with this system. And all the tools are the same size and the same caliber. Our clips, our imperial clips that we use here in the state, uh, we have a 10 skew uh, sortie of clips. And if you notice, all the clips are color coded. And we color coded them for inspection so that when you have your yard, you can look out in your yard. And if you see the blue three to three clip, you know that's a three to a three rebar. If you see the violet clip, that's a three to a four rebar. If you see the purple clip, that's a three to a five connection. If you see the beige clip, that's a three to a six connection. If you see the red clip, which you'll see a lot of, that's a four over a four connection. If you see the orange clip, that's gonna be a four over five. The lime green is gonna be a four over six. The white clip is gonna be a five to a five. The light blue is gonna be a five to a six. And the yellow is our biggest clip is gonna be a six to a six. We also have the metric SKUs as well. We have 16 SKUs in the metric, but here in the States, we pretty much use the Imperial. We also count the number of clips in a box so that when you have your job laid out and you know how many joints you've got to connect, you're gonna be very precise when you order the Cody clip system. If you order your four to fours, if you order a box of those, you're gonna get 1,568 connections in that. You're gonna get 1,568 clips, it's gonna give you 15, 168 connections. If you order the white clips, the five to five, you're gonna get 1,008. If you order the four to five, you're gonna get 1,008. If you order the six to six, you're gonna get 600 clips in that box. So by color coding the clips for visibility, by numbering the clips that you know exactly how many clips you're gonna get in your box, we've made this system as economical and as easy to use as we could possibly do with where we are today. And I'm sure we're gonna even make it better in the future. By tie when you can clip, clips are non-corrosive, very versatile, grips any cross or parallel vertical rebar connection. Strong grip, that, and that is, that is really the attribute of this clip, that it is very strong, no unwanted motion, no wobbling of whatever you're building um, even when you're building certain cages, you can use the clips to even support a one-man operation. When you're using wire, sometimes you have to use two-man operation. Snap into position real quick and fast, and it holds very strong, easily identifiable. The system, we, we created an extension handle for the clipper gun that allows you to be able to attach these four, there's four screws, you'll take off the back of it, and attach this handle and then put it around the trigger so that you can pull the trigger from up top of it, allowing you to just walk along with a rack of clips on the track and using the safety to just literally just pull the trigger as you connect the joints. Great for people who are, may, may have a work injury or from days after report on light duty or something like that, or if you just got a lot of mats, a long run of a mat that you need to do, this is absolutely the way to do it. We are, the system comes with what we call the Cody Clip pouch. The Cody Clip bag allows you to connect that to your belt, take a bundle of clips to put on your side. So as you're, as you're connecting your joints, you can just reach into this bag 
and rack another rack of clips so that so that at the end of the day, you'd have done thousands of joints as fast as you possibly could with this system. And it took a lot of load off of you if you'd have been doing the same operation with just tying with wire. So it's a much better system, much faster system. And now you can do it standing upright. In some cases, you may just want to test the Cody Clip system in some of your applications. And we have some people that want to do that. And some just say, I've got a smaller application. You can take a rack of clips, put it across the bar, and just hit it with a hammer or a mallet and just tear away the clip. The, the attribute of the system is the clip. However, the applicator that we utilize to apply the clip is the applicator, but the attributes itself is the clip system. The clip will allow your structures to be rigid, to be able to be transportable, to not have to duplicate your efforts. And if you wanted to take this, this clip off, if for some reason that whatever you was building was not inspected, it should have been a 12 to 12, and you come out and they got 10 to 10 centers, you go, guys, you got to take that apart. Then all you would have to do is pinch take a player of uh, wire, uh, wire fires or vice grips or channel locks and just pinch the end of these clips on both ends where the little legs are. And it would open up and then pinch the other side and you could remove that clip. Put those clips in a barrel or a box or something like that. Once you've got everything laid out to spec, you could take those clips, squeeze those little legs back down and mallet those clips onto those joints so there's no waste with the Cody clip system. So if you buy a a box of five to fives, and there's a thousand and eight you utilize. Warranty program. This program is for production. What happens is when you become a part of the Cody Club warranty program, either through our buying or if you bought it from, you bought your tool from someone outside of Dayton Superior, we will allow you to come. Tools allow us to refurbish your tool and or re, you put you into a refurbishing program so that when your tool goes down, you get on the website, you let us know you've got a problem with it, you send that tool into us, and we will send you a refurbished tool so that your production is up the next day. If you want it overnight or if you want a three day ground, your production will never be down. We're competing heavily with our competitors by having a program that focuses on you as a customer, focuses on your production, focus on your daily activity there in that plant so that we know that you could use all the help you can get from us because of what Chuck pointed out earlier, there's a shortage of labor in the industry. So we wanna be a, a part of your team to help you to move your products on a daily basis as fast as you can out the door. So our warranty program helps to facilitate that by allowing you to just ship that tool to us. We will send you a refurbished tool and get your daily production back into production. Thank you for this. And with that, I'll pass you to Heidi. Ah, thanks, A-Roll. You and Chuck know your Cody. I like it. All right, so moving right along, let's talk about some research resources and expert support. But before we go into that, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and stick them into the chat functionality in Zoom, and we'll get those taken care of in just a moment. So you just heard from Aaron Jones. He is a product manager for Cody Clip, and there is his contact information. You can also look on uh, CodyClip.com. That's K-O-D-I-K-L-I-P.com, and it'll point you to the product page, and you can see some of the uh, the warranty information as far as filling out the form to get that taken care of. We have resources on there such as the product pages themselves. There is a landing page on the CodyClip.com. We have technical data sheets for both the clips and the gun, as well as the tool manual. It's really good reading material, and I'm not actually kidding on some of that, <laughs> as well as the rebar splicing handbook. There is a brochure out there that provides you with the information that you need. But more importantly, you can save on this product right now. It's going on until March 2023. Just contact your sales representative and you can get a special offer of buy one skid of K-Clips and receive a special gun, a clipper gun for that size. 
Also want to do a shout out real quick. Um, we've got the precast show coming. That's why it's precast month. Not this week, but the next week, February 23rd. We're going to be there and come check us out. Talk to us. Talk to our experts. See this Cody clip in action. You can, uh, I think there's a test there, isn't there, where they can actually use it. Mm -hmm. So just write down booth number 243 and you can see all of that excitement. So with that, are there any questions? Yeah, we have a question. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes. Uh, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. I can. Go ahead. Yeah. Have a nice day. So uh, I have a question more uh, concerning the strength. Uh, what is the capacity in uh, in shear and intention for this uh, Cody clip? You're, you're talking about the pull strength on the clip? Yeah, yeah. Uh, assume some uh, the uh, worker he want to climb up, okay, for some reason, okay? So he's stepping in the one of the rebar, which is connected. And what is the capacity or the strength of this clip? So it would, it would the, each clip has its own strength capacity. And across the rebar, he's going to probably have some chairs up under there or some bridge deck chairs up under there to actually help support it. And it's, it depends on the clip, but it could have a strength factor between a 100, 150, 180 uh, pounds of pull, but it depends on the clip. I and mean, I think our largest clip is over 200. So uh, usually uh, when we get uh, pick any product from Dayton Superior, we have those tables and it shows very clearly, obviously, uh, uh, shear capacity, uh, uh, tension capacity, and they show safety factor two to one whatsoever. So just, uh, are we expected to have uh, in the brochure for this material something like that? This kind of thing. Yeah, I believe our engineer, our engineering department has has put together a, a strength package. So yes, we will have that data for you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, and if you don't see it online, there's a technical data sheet out there. Um, you can also contact us and we'll try to get you in touch with the engineering team or you know reach out to your sales representative thank you that's great okay. you're welcome all right i think we have another um let's see here okay we said there's one concern from approval authorities on the use of the cody clip is that the area occupies much more space within the concrete compared to conventional wire ties, thus negatively impacting quantity of concrete, especially in slender sections. Uh, does use of, this, of these clips have any negative impact on the performance of the structural concrete? Um, I would say no to that. We've been utilizing this product out in the field from different DOTs uh, since 2008, this particular product, this particular clip. And the clip itself made of, made of polycarbonate, it is, and the way that it is formed in an injection mold, it is actually stronger than just the concrete itself. The clip is actually stronger in makeup. And we've had, over all these years, we've had no issues with that, even uh, some some people bring up the clearance of the clip um, on the different pores, but when they spec what they're doing and they utilize the clip, we've had no issues with that over the years. All right, thanks, Aroll. So we had a question from one of our internals, actually. Um, are we still pursuing a battery operator? Because right now it's on the uh, the air. And uh, the answer to that is we're in design phases, and so stay tuned. Any other questions? All right, well, this presentation has been recorded. Even the video in the beginning, that was a technical glitch. You can go watch that and laugh at me. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to remind you guys, uh, we'll send out a note and let you know when it's available. You can watch and hear these, these conversations and questions. 
Um, anything else before we end? Okay, well, I want to do a special shout out to my friend Jerry, who's on the phone. I want him to have a superior day along with the rest of you. So all you guys have a great and happy Tuesday. Thanks, everyone. Okay, thank you.